Hey everyone, welcome back to KC3 Sparks. Today we are going to be creating a campfire. A few videos ago, I made some bed rolls. So obviously for our campsites that we would need, we need a campfire. So basically first things first, of course, we wanna go ahead, set up our scene. So go over to the scene tab here, change your units to whatever you're most comfortable working it with. I'm gonna do inches and I changed my display to quarter of an inch. So I'm not gonna start with the cube. I'm actually gonna go ahead and hit X to delete that and then enter and I want to start with the UV sphere so shift a UV sphere and I'm gonna hit N because I don't need that menu anymore because usually I'll go ahead and resize whatever I'm working with but for this campfire I'm just going to size it afterward since we're gonna be doing this kind of uh, some separate pieces at a time so with this sphere, we are going to make this the actual fire itself, and then we'll go ahead and make some logs and whatnot later, and most likely end up bullying everything together, depending on how the fire comes out. We'll see what happens. But with this, I wanted to take this into sculpt mode. So go ahead, go down here, and we're gonna go to sculpt mode and have some fun with this. I've made fire before, but I don't think I've made a video for it. When I like to create flames, basically I will go ahead in my head, visualize what I want it to look like, and then just kind of go from there. Of course, you could try to go off of a picture or something, but fire is kind of a little bit more difficult to try and do that since it's so organic. It's just probably a little bit easier if you just start by going into sculpt mode and having fun with it. So if you've never used sculpt mode before, basically it comes up with this menu over here instead. And you'll notice that, you know, you don't have the orange lines or anything like you would in edit mode. You have all these different brushes for right now. I'm probably just going to stick with this sculpt draw and I'll probably use snake hook a little bit later too, to get some extra little um, flames coming off of the main fire. Right now, let's just stick with sculpt draw. I will go ahead and check this box. So this will actually give me a lot more geometry to work with. And I do not want the symmetry lock on. If you want, you can certainly leave that on depending on what kind of fire you're going for. I'm gonna turn this off, but yeah, cause I don't need mirror or anything happening. And of course you can control your radius and the strength of the brush right here but once you have that that is way too big um i usually do a smaller brush but of course as you zoom the brush will stay the same so it kind of works out good for me to have a smaller brush anywho um i do have a sculpting tutorial on my channel if you want a better explanation of all this stuff but for now we're just gonna use this brush anyway let's go to front view and see about how i want this so I want this to have kind of two bigger flames coming up and then maybe some little ones that I'll use the snake hook for later on. Uh, let's just start by bringing this up. Actually, let's just try the snake hook for now to try and get this up and then we can thicken it a lot. Some of these little extra things we'll just have to go back and probably delete later or you can do control to subtract it away right away whatever you prefer Okay, this definitely doesn't look the best, but you guys kind of get the idea. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up my other fire that I already have created. This is just kind of to show you the process. Unfortunately, I don't already have it 
have the other one that I created recorded. So I will go ahead and open up that file so you can see how a decent flame might look. I mean, this one's okay, but I want to have fun with the other one. Give me one second. So once I have this imported, I mean, you can see that this looks much better than what I had before. This is what I was trying to recreate, but it wasn't working for me. If you want, um, I do have this available for download on Thingiverse. It's have. It does have a base on there though, so I just chopped that off and filled in this hole. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and add in the logs. Hopefully you guys were able to just sculpt uh, fire <laughs> how you wanted it. But I mean, if anything, that this is available for download. For the actual logs themselves, I'm gonna do Shift A and we're gonna do Mesh and Cylinder. That's way too big, so size that down and size it again but do shift c so it only sizes it along the x and y axis and bring that over i want to do a couple things before we just i mean you can make it um irregular if you want to but i kind of want it a little bit uniform so what we're gonna do is add two different modifiers first we will go ahead and do an array modifier and i want to do five and do the offset a little bit more maybe like that and we're going to do shift a and add in a bezier circle just size that maybe about there make sure that this origin is in the center so origin to 3d cursor and then what we can do curve or actually i'm not sure if that matters but i think it does Add the curve modifier, add the Bezier circle, and that will go ahead and rotate around there just like we want it to. And okay, so maybe we'll wanna go ahead and maybe do another one, another two. Okay, so seven looks pretty good. Awesome. And then we will go ahead and we're not in edit mode, so we'll just apply those two real quick. We can hide our circle because we don't need that anymore tab into edit mode go ahead select each individual one so you can just click one vertice hit l and i'll click it will automatically select anything that's linked and we'll go ahead and just rotate these so for this one since it's on the side i can go ahead and just go into front view and rotate it i'm gonna rotate it so it looks like it's kind of about there looks good so i can do the same to this one hit l for linked is that the right one? No. Linked, front view, rotate, make it match somewhat, and just go on down the line. Perfect. Okay, so now that we have all of those rotated properly, and it looks kind of good, I do want to probably add a base to this in the future but i think i would just glue it on to one because it might be a little unstable instead of printing one i have plenty of extra bases but if you wanted to add a base all you would have to do is do shift a mesh you could do a circle or a square if you wanted depending on what your shape you're going for but i would probably do a circle just size that down to where it seems appropriate so maybe about there tab into edit mode Go in front view, make sure probably about there so that all the logs are touching. Of course, you know, you could rotate that one down, maybe rotate down that one a little bit more so that way they all intersect. Then you can just hit E to extrude, make sure the normals, oops, you need to turn this off first, undo this, and make sure they all go in the right place. Don't want it that thick. Then you can just fill that circle in and you could either just fill this in if you wanted it to be like that but if you wanted a smoother edge you could do e to extrude size it in a little bit e to extrude size it in a little more and then fill so that way it's a little bit more gradual up and then just drag that back down you could always add a subdivision surface modifier on there if you want it to be even smoother but that is probably about it. So like I said, probably won't do it with 
the base. So I'm just going to go ahead and hide that. Let me rename it first before I do that. Okay. And now all we have to do is Boolean our logs on. So Boolean, we're going to do union and we'll need how many logs did I do? Six? Three. Six. And we can do each cylinder. Oh, except the cylinders are all one object. Silly me. So we only need one. <laughs> That's funny. I rename this. Hide it. Looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and apply. Tab in to make sure it worked. And it did. When I say make sure it works, you want to make sure that it actually did create a whole new seam so you can see, uh, it won't select properly, but basically where the circle and the fire intersect, there's nothing else extra inside the model. So this Boolean actually worked perfectly. So that is all you really need for a campfire. So if you guys again have any questions or you wanted to submit any requests or anything i really appreciate requests go ahead and put those down in the comments below also don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more of my videos and i will see you guys next week